Okay, so what we have on this track is you have a t uh, stereo process vocal, a dry vocal, and what we want to do is add a reverse reverb effect on the lead vocal. And what I've done here is I've duplicated the lead dry track, which is what this is right here. Here I'll tell your wounds. Okay, and um, so here's the doubled one down here. And what we will do is we're going to reverse this track right here which is under reverse items as new take. Okay. Now the best thing to do is to line this up um, so that it's, you know, kind of in time exactly reverse of where it originally was. So which is right here in there. And then I have the TC electronics M30 reverb on this with a gentle vocal booth and 100% saturation so that the process sound is only the process sound, no dry in there at all. And we're going to right click on here, Oop. render stereo stem or render to stem, not the mono one unless you want the mono. And now we are going to cinch these up to be the same size. And we're going to right click and reverse. So now we should have an exactly lined up. Let's hear what it sounds like. Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. I've got the strength to... So, you can hear it fading in. Um, I made a little of a mistake. I didn't uh, pull out the sound at the end longer, so I had more of a trail coming in. So if we go back uh, before I processed it... Actually, no, I'm sorry. If I go back, so here, this will have more of a trail. And that's the trail that I actually want. So let's uh, do it now. Reverse take. And now let's listen to it. Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. I've got the strength to push through. So obviously you're not going to want that the entire time during the song. So what you would have to do is, you know, zoom in here. And um, let's see what we got here. Let's listen to this part again. Here. So basically, you just want to fading in, or at least that's what I want, fading in. So I'm just going to slice here by pressing S, and I'm going to get rid of this whole portion. And then I want it to start doing its uh, fade in again for this portion. Obviously, you don't want this to cut out. You can do a fade out um, just before that. And then I want to kill this, do a fade out again. Pull this back here, um, and then same with this one, doing a fade in, and uh, this one is cinch up the back, and do a fade out. So let's hear what that sounds like. Here I'll tell you. I've got the strength to push through. So it obviously gives a different effect to the song. Now this is without the reverse. Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. 
I've got the strength to push through. And here's with. Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. I've got the strength to push through. So. Definitely gives a different effect to it, a little more of a build-up sound. Um, this part just needs to be a little bit louder to have more of an effect. Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. I've got the strength to push through. So. That's how you do that. Um, what I did as a little recap is I doubled the lead vocal and I right clicked on it and went to reverse to new take, which is right here. And then after I reversed to new take, I lined up the phrases to, um, you know, or the accents, whatever way you want to line up, you can do it with the accent, you can do it with the full phrase. And then um, did the processing on it by right clicking and uh, rendering to new stem and then after that you need to reverse it again after it's processed and um, line it up once again to uh, to do the proper sound Here I'll tell your wounds. Heal these scars. I've got the strength to push through. So, anyway, that's it for now. Um, Johnny from Red Sneaker Records, thanks for watching tutorials for Reaper.